I am going to solve question number 10 of exam style questions of chapter number 8 of your book. Uh, you have been asked in question number 10 that uh, to declare a one dimensional array of uh, the names of staff, uh, staff members uh, in a department. Uh, then you need to declare another one dimensional array star phone number. It should contain the phone numbers of staff, uh, staff members and a final array of uh, staff office which, which, should, which should contain the location of office of each staff member. Now the position of each member's data in the array is same. For example, if the position of a staff member is 5, his phone number will also be at location at position number 5. His office location will be at position number 5. Now we are going to we're supposed to write a program which uses procedures uh, which should display these lists of staff member names, their uh, offices and their phone numbers. But the list uh, in first part, you are supposed to display the uh, list in alpha uh, according to the alphabetical order of staff names. I have uh, made this code. Uh, you can see that I have declared three arrays. One is of staff names. Second one is of staff phone numbers. Third array is of staff offices. I have declared uh, arrays of six members each. In uh, the first procedure that I have declared, I have uh, counted the uh, number of members of staff and saved them in staff in a variable named uh, staff count. Then I have used a for loop that will uh, go uh, that, that will go till the range of the number of uh, staff members that loop will uh, iterate till the uh, range of staff count. Uh, it will print the names of staff at a particular uh, counter location. The first, first of all, the counter location will be for the first member, then the second member, then the third member, then the fourth member, then the fifth member, then the sixth member, member. and it will display the phone numbers along with the names. And uh, it will display the phone numbers of staff members also. Then it will display the, the office locations of staff members also. But this for the first time when we will call this procedure, the names uh, when, when we will call this procedure for the, for the first time over here, the names will not be in alphabetical order. Now we, now we are supposed to arrange the names of members in R. Uh, in an alphabetical order for this purpose i have uh, designed and defined the procedure named alphabetical order of staff i have again again taken the length of staff in staff count and this length and uh, the uh, our counters will go till the range of the staff count starting from the first member till the last member it will check if the uh, it, it will declare two um, variables named i and j uh, the pointer which will be pointing towards the first member will check the pointer uh, of the staff member at the second number if the second number will be greater than the first number then it will be fine but if the second number will not will be lesser than the first uh, the first number then uh, the names will be stored in a temporary location and the positions of members will be swapped um, the, the inner for loop will start from the, the, the pointer of second location let me demonstrate it through these three arrays you can see that the pointer which is named as i is pointing towards the first location of this array named names and the in the inner mo the innermost loop is pointing towards the second location that is e over here that j1 the inner loop is pointing towards e if s f is greater than e which is greater in our case f will be shifted in r temporary variable temporary means 
a, temp, a, a separate memory location named named as temp will be declared in the same way for phones a temporary location named temp1 will be declared and similarly for offices a third memory location named temp2 will be declared now because f is greater than e f will be temporarily saved in over here in temp this triple one will also be shifted downwards in temp1 at the same time and this triple a will also be shifted downwards in temp2 uh, now the values of the second location will be shifted upwards e will be shifted upwards over here triple two will also be shifted upwards b will be shifted upwards these three locations which are at point j they will not be shifted with the values of point uh, of f triple one and triple a this is how all the members will be arranged in an ascending order